guys, so my name is Justin the Panda and welcome back to Happy Eternal Void. And this week is Fandoms Week and I realized that I'm not really into a lot of fandoms. And so I looked, I was actually doing like some research on them on, on the computer. And I know it sounds sad but it's true because I live a boring life. And uh, um, what happened was that I realized that half of these fandoms had to do with music. So therefore, to make up for me being boring and being lame, I decided to share some of my top 10 favorite bands because I'm obsessed with music, don't, as you probably can tell. So, um, and these aren't really in any order. I just kind of like um, put some down and so, some of the bands that I like really like. And there are a lot more that I really like. I just can't mention them all in one video. So don't get mad at me. And um, comment bands that you like and maybe I'll, and I'll tell you whether or not I like them or heard of them. So yeah, let's get started. The first band that I like is The Used. The Used I found not too long ago actually, like two months ago. They were in my YouTube recommendations for some time and I checked them out and I just love their musical ability, I love their style, and just every, and just everything about their music I love. And, I'd, and if you want to check them out, I'd really recommend it. The second one that, the second band that I like would have to be Bring Me The Horizon. Um, I found, this is another band that I found not too long ago because I've heard people talk about it but I didn't listen to them because I was a jerk. But I, but that's something that I regret because I wish that I had found them a long time ago because I am now obsessed with their music. I listen to it all the time, both their older stuff and their newest stuff because honestly I feel, I love when bands change their, change their, um, sound. And honestly I, 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 I think that it's awesome because if they were just the same then people would want something new and they'd be complaining about how they stay the same. However, I think it's messed up when people, when bands change their sound and then people complain about th them changing. So I don't know, but I love their but I love like I, I love their music and I love their lyrics. I mean, lyrics are like a really big part of the music I listen to because I listen to like other like instrumental music as well. But so, but the lyrics really do um, um, mean a lot to me because I write lyrics, so probably a good reason. But yeah, their lyric because. And their lyric ability is, is obviously a really big part of why I like them because it's really hard to write lyrics that are like that are both like really deep and meaningful and yet people can relate to them so much. I think it's hard to do that. And also I just love the lead singer's like vocal ability, both both unclean vocals and clean vocals. Because he's been singing in his newer in his new in his newer stuff. So therefore I, I just I I absolutely love his voice and their musical ability. So yeah, that's why I love Bring the Horizon so much. The next one is Bless the Fall. Now, Bless the Fall is the first band that got me into this whole music scene because I used to be like a really preppy kid because mainly because of the person that I was raised around. I was raised by my mom, and she's like a really quiet. She was she's like a really quiet kind of reserved person. So therefore, I listened to a lot of what she listened to, and so I wasn't really exposed to anything other than that because that was because this is the point where I didn't live with my dad. And then I started listening to Skillet and Flyleaf and stuff, and I got really into them. And then I was looking for, uh, for new music to listen to, and then I found this band called Bless the Fall and my YouTube recommendations. So I checked them out, and then they scared the hell out of me. So therefore, I, so therefore I closed it and went back to my little box of Flyleaf and Skillet. Because at the time I just didn't like this box, and I could not escape the box. I, I refused to accept anything other than the box. So that's how I was. And then after a while, I, I decided to go back to it because I was like really looking for new music to listen to. And then... I I, listened to, I actually started listening to the music and the lyrics and stuff like that and listening to, to the whole song and therefore I started getting into more of the music and I and, and now I still listen to them including other bands that, that that are related to that band so yeah thank you Bless the Fall for helping me get out of the box <laughs> yeah um the next band that I love is Black Veil Brides um Black Veil Brides is a, is an I've, I don't know when I actually found them, but I've heard people talk about them before and I decided to check them out for myself. And they're a little bit out of the way of what I'd usually listen to, um, but but that doesn't keep me from loving their music regardless. And so, and so yeah, that's just why I love them so much. I love their music ability um, and just everything about them I love. And I'm so, yeah, I don't know. I'm doing a really bad job of, um, of kind of describing these bands for you guys, but... Yeah, and also I just love their originality. They're they're just so different from other bands because they take because and you can really hear the influence from the, um, of the of the music that they listen to on their music. So that's what I love about them that you could hear where they came from and where they are now and the bands that that, that really influenced them. So yeah, that's what I love about Black Veil Brides. The next one is Story of the Year. I found Story of the Year actually about a month ago because like because um I started listening to the U's and I started um starting to listen to like other bands like them and I and I love their music so much and I know that they're kind of like an I'm kind of like an older band well they're not like an old band but they are older they're not new 
they've been around for some time now. So yeah, I just love their music and just their and just their music ability. And I'm just in a lot of music a lot of music like this. So it's kind of hard to explain why I love music like this so much. But it's just something that I love, and it's just me. So yeah. The next band that I like, well, this isn't really a band. It's more of like a solo artist thing. It's Save You Can Fly. Save You Can Fly was the first person that got me into acoustic music, which of course I love, as you can probably tell, because I play acoustic, a lot of acoustic instruments. So, um, but he was the first person that got me into acoustic and, um, music, and that's why I love it so much now, because of his music and the meaning behind his songs. And it really did t touch my heart to see um, the meaning behind his music and stuff. So, yeah, if you want to ch check him out, I'd really recommend it. Um, he's been doing music for about six years now because he started off on YouTube. So, yeah, I found a lot of these artists on YouTube now that I think about it. <laughs> so, yeah, moving on. The next band is Sleeping With Sirens. I love Sleeping With Sirens so much. Um, he, cause this band actually really inspired me to do, actually start doing music when I first found out about them. Because when I found them, I, I, I thought that I, like, cause I've been rejected by a lot of chorus groups cause my voice was too high. Um, cause I, cause, um, I don't know why, I just kind of like have a high singing voice, I don't know, I can't help it. But, um, yeah, so, what happened was that I was directed by them and I thought that I wouldn't be good at music just because my voice was so annoyingly high at, the, at some points. So, but then, um, I found this band, and also I didn't think that I was good enough at drums for some weird reason, but then, like, um, to see how big they were and, like, how much this, this person, the lead singer was known for his voice, it really did inspire me because honestly, you can't be known really well for being like everybody else. You have to be different, and that's what I love about so many of these bands. They have the bravery to go up to a microphone and, and, and sing their feelings. That's what I love about these bands so much, and about a bunch of other musical artists as well. So, yeah, that's what that's what I love about Sleeping with Sirens, and also like their newer stuff as well. Like a lot of people are complaining that they changed their sound, but honestly, I just I love their I love their newer stuff, and I love their older stuff as well, and. I love like their um, for, with ears to eyes to hear days, but I also love their newer stuff and like their newer album Madness. If you want to check that out, I'd really recommend it. So yeah, that's what I love about Sleeping with Sirens. The next one is Pierce the Veil. Um, Pierce the Veil would have to be like one of my favorite bands of all time. I don't know, like the first because like this is the one that I heard about for quite some time, and I and I didn't find them till just this year. And honestly, I love their music so much. I feel like I can relate to it in, um, in a lot of ways, and I love how. Um, and, and I love how like when they write their songs, they pull from their own life experiences, and that's just the bravery of it to actually pull from their own life experiences to help other people. Cause that's like the thing behind their band is they want to help people. So yeah, I'm sorry, my voice is dying. I'm sorry. So yeah, that's that's what I love about Pierce the Veil. Um, the next one is My Chemical Romance. I know the band broke up, but I still love their music so much. I still listen to it all the time. And the sad part is I didn't find them till about four months ago. So very, very. So it's been quite some time when I found them since they broke up. So yeah, it's just kind of it's, a, it's a kind of sad. It's kind of sad that they broke up, but they still made awesome music. And also, I do listen to some of their solo stuff. So yeah, don't be sad because they still make awesome music. So if you are my Chemical Romance fa fan and you and you are sad that they broke up, just blast the black parade in your ear, wear your favorite My Chemical Romance t-shirt, and just sing along at the top of your lungs, okay? That's what I recommend. And the last, well no, not the last one, I still have two, but the next one would be Catching Your Clouds. This is another like solo acoustic artist. He released his first ever full album this year in March-ish, so if you want to check that out, I'd really um, recommend it. It's called More Than Friends. And Catching Your Clouds is, um, I love his music so much, because like I said before, I love acoustic music and he's an acoustic artist. And the, and people like him and Save We Can Fly, they both started on YouTube, and they are really big um, inspiration to me because they, cause they're just normal people that decided that to take their dreams a little further by, by posting it on a site like this. And that's how they got so big. So yeah, those artists like that inspired, inspired me so much. And the last band that I like is Paramore. I found Par I've I think I've always been, I've, I think I've always been around Paramore mu Paramore's music because this is the only band that me and my mom both like today because honestly I love their older stuff and their newer stuff like I said before I love when bands change their sounds but yeah Paramore Haley Haley Williams is a really big inspiration to me like vocal wise and also I just love the other members as well and their music abilities. So yeah, and and so that's it for this video. I'm so sorry if I did a really bad job at um, just kind of like describing these bands.
but I hope that you learned a little bit more about me and um like I said before, these aren't all all the bands that I like. There's just a, a few. So comment, leave a comment down below on some of your favorite bands, and I'll tell you if I heard about them, if I like them, or if I dislike them. And so that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you if you want to see more of me and all the other members of Happy Eternal Boy, make sure to click the subscribe button somewhere around here. I don't know, it depends on the device you're using. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to stay fluffy, my pandas, and bye.